Hello, fierce loves. So welcome in. Sorry ka. Mabuhay! And you are all back from the first time. And if you're new to my channel, welcome! I make videos about jewelries every Tuesdays, beauty and fashion on Fridays, and everything and anything under the sun during Sundays. And that is about gadgets, perfumes, vlogs, travels, whatever. Yes, so on this video, I am going to share with you from unboxing to close-ups to try on and to my final verdict of these two items that I got here from Dolce & Gabbana Beauty that I bought from Harrods um, website in the United Kingdom. And it's also like a store there of luxury goodies. Yes, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is the super big box from Harrods that have been sitting here for a few days already. But finally, um, the weather is a little bit better now than the previous days and I could go ahead and do my unboxing. And let's reveal, ta-da, yes! So look at that, Harrods since 1849. Oh my God, this is my first ever Harrods purchase. Harrods goodie bag. Oh my gosh, it is. Look at that. An entire bag full of goodies. So, these are my Carolina Herrera items. And that's some more Carolina Herrera. Noche and Gabbana Baroque Lights, the highlighter. Aha, uh -huh, I got the uh, Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. It's the cap for the lipstick because <laughs> you can customize the lipstick also. And I think that this is the lipstick refill. Yep, so this is the lipstick color and that was the cap. So now I am going to unbox and share with you the Dolce & Gabbana items that I bought from Harrods. And if you haven't seen the Harrods beauty gift that I unboxed, then go ahead and check it out and um, the direct link will be at the end of this video and also in the description bar. And the ones that you are seeing at the back are the Carolina Herrera items that I'm also gonna unbox because I ordered them at the same time. But since I don't want it to be a very long video, then I will have a different video for them instead. The first item that I would like to share with you is this one. And um, it says Dolce & Gabbana, the one or the only one. So it's the Luminous Color Lipstick. So the box looks like this. It's the black one with the gold um, font on the top. This is the only one Luminous Color Lipstick in number 200 Angelic Pink. Uh -huh. All right, and this is the lipstick refill. So just like my, um, the refill for Berlin, it comes with this, and of course, there is a cap so it's still secured and it's not spoiled. So, just in case you have lots of the refills and you only have a few caps, you can just keep on putting this back and then interchange or keep on customizing your DNG lipsticks with different caps. Yes. The NG logo right here, so stunning! And then, oh, this is it. Oof. I hope that this is not too light for me. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty. Oh goodness. So that's that. And then I am going to open the cap that I have here. There's only a few caps that are available. Um, there's only three, the animal print, um, just a pure gold one, and this one. There's another one that I also like, but it's not available, so I chose this one instead. Okay, ooh, right off the box. It's so exciting already. You see, there's DMG logo on the cap, on the top of the cap. Oh my gosh, that is so stunning. So this is the lace design. It's so pretty. Not, not as heavy as the caps for Berlin, but it's, it's also nice. It's a little lighter and the lipstick is a little lighter too. So they are both plastic and then this is how it looks. 
So you buy them both separately. And then you could have several caps or several um, refills instead. So that's the DNG lipstick that I got. Oh, so exciting. And then I have another product from DNG here that I would like to share before I show how they look on me. And it's this one. And it's the DNG Baroque Lights highlighting powder. They sell so fast because they used to have like um, some other products there too, like limited edition blush, limited edition um, bronzer, but they sell out fast. This is the one in 03 Opulent Pink. So it's Baroque Lights highlighting powder. That's what it says. It's a limited edition for the summer. I did not see this available on the website the last time I checked, which is a few days ago. So hopefully they will restock it. Oh, it's a nice black velvet pouch. There is Dolce & Gabbana logo on the velvet pouch right there. And oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. It's so stunning. So I think that um, they could still go well together, but there's another lipstick cap that is like a little bit more matching this one, but they work together and I like that because if I got the animal print, then they do not really match. So that's that. So very nice compact, still a, a plastic one. At the back it says Baroque Lights Highlighting Powder 3 Opulent Pink. And then, oh, it's very reflective. So it says it has 10 grams of product. And this is how it looks. There's a mirror in there. That's a nice pinkish highlight. I do not have a lot of uh, pink highlighter because I always like um, reach for either the gold ones or the champagne ones this is not so pink also it's it much more it's it's a little bit more leaning on the uh, peachy pink i'm also gonna swatch this when i try it on don't you worry yes finally i am going to share with you how the dacha and gabbana baroque lights highlighting powder in 03 opulent pink looks on the cheeks or on on um, the high points of my face and then the lipstick on how it looks so if you are curious how I made this eye look and that is from my first ever Pat McGrath Labs um, palette and it's this one it's the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 7 or the Divine Rose 1 okay so I am going to um, start with the Dolce and Cabana highlighter and i am going to grab my luxie tapered highlighter brush once again which i also use for my blush using the natasha denona and you should see you can see that on, a, on a, the video where i did this full face um so this is the luxie 522 which is um i use it as like a like a multitasking brush and this is the beautiful packaging once again it's very reflective so pretty and then this is how it looks inside. It's gonna cover the, the mirror. So we could appreciate that print. That is just so stunning. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, so I am going to use the other part of the Luxie brush that I have not dipped into anything else. It's the clean part. And whoops, there was nothing in there. Hmm, I'm gonna try to see if I could do it with my head because that is how it usually is like for the product like th there could be an overspray or you have to remove the outer layer so you'll be able to appreciate the product more. I, I still cannot see anything. I think I swatched it already like I'm, go I'm really going in there right now but I'm not seeing any highlight dng please do not let me down you are quite expensive and that's the amount of product that i have now so okay well that's pretty nice swatch 
So hopefully I have removed the outer layer and then that it's gonna finally show up on my face. Oh there, there's a little bit now. Okay. Now let's try the brush once again. I guess the outer layer is already removed. Okay, this is a very subtle highlight on the face, but what do you see? But hmm, I think that's that's okay now. Hmm. Okay. Or was it the wrong shade for me? Well, it shows up in the on the camera. I could see, but on my mirror, it does not translate that well. But on the camera, I could see that I have a highlight already. Right there. Not not so so blinding for me when I look at the mirror. Yeah, I could see it now. There's really like this pink shift onto it. Okay, I see, I see now. I see you. I see you, DNG, okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna try to put on to picture of my nose. A little, oh yeah, there. There it is. And then to the tip of my lips. Uh-huh. Okay, now we have. Let's see if we could um highlight here also. Mm, that's really not so blinding, but it works. So. Yes, so another product from Dolce & Gabbana, of course, is the lipstick that I got right here, which is called The Only One in Angelic Pink 200. That's the shade, but it's with the lace cap. This is how it looks. Super nice nude pink. Hmm, it has a scent to it. Rosy scent. Oh, it's a light. You see that? Like I have pigment on my lips right now, and then that just made it lighter. Ah. This is really it's really hard to um to buy items online because you don't get to swatch them. Oh my gosh, that's like just concealing my lips. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is super nude li lips that I do not recognize my lips anymore. So I'm gonna try to um like spread it using the lip brush so it will be even I really think that I chose the wrong color <laughs> of lipstick but I do not have a lot of uh, nude pinks like this but this is like a little bit too nude for my liking what do you think um, I think it's okay because I have really done my eyes um, so if I have like a little bit more color on the lips then it's gonna be a little too much um especially i have colors on the cheeks also but it's just that i felt that um my lips got too washed out by this angelic pink so if you have the same um the same almost the same skin color and skin tone as me then you may want to stray away from angelic pink and grab another color i should have gotten a red but i was like mm. So maybe I try another shade next time from DNG. And all right, so my final verdict for Dolce and Gabbana, um, this one, the Baroque Lights Highlighting Powder Zero Three Opaline Pink. At first, when you you put it, it's not blinding right away. It's not highly pigmented you have to build it up and that is my honest thoughts about it because as you see in my video i tried it several times before it finally like showed up but um it's really different like it shows up on on the um if i look when i look at my camera on my viewfinder i could see that it's there but when i'm looking in the mirror um not not so much um 
And also, I think that this shade is not the right one for me since the um, pink highlights is not really the best for my skin tone. I think this number 03 in um, opulent pink, once again, would be perfect for those who have lighter skin. This would show up. For them, I think, 2.0 for Dior Forever for the foundation. And for the lipstick, I love the packaging. I like it. It's not as um, super luxurious and heavy like my Guerlain lipsticks. But it's still super beautiful. still feels luxurious. But it's a little too plasticky. So for the price that we pay for it um, and... The super expensive shipping from Harrods, if you are not from the UK, of course, it's going to be very expensive for the shipping. Um, not sure. You could actually, you could actually skip this one. It, not, unless you are a crazy makeup collector like me. But I am already a makeup collector. I'm crazy, but I feel like... And I also wish that I um, chosen, I have chosen a different shade. Because on the, on the photos, this looks nice. But when I applied it, as you see, it's like a concealer on my lips and I do not really like that. It's not my jam. But I wanted to still get the, the blush and, and then the ones with the um, highlight and the bronzer and then the other yes. one. So if you wanted to see how I did the full face makeup and in my review of the other products that I used for this one, especially the Pat McGrath that I used for my eyes and I really, really love it and I enjoyed it. And then uh, my review of the brushes that I used for my entire face and I multitask with some of the brushes here also. Luxie Complete Face Set is the name. Yes, so that. And I will put the links at the end of this video and then also in the description bar. So if you wanted to see more of the luxury finds from me, because um, I love luxury uh, makeup, then you can go ahead and um, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and you'll be notified on all my future videos. I have beauty and fashion every Fridays. Um, jewelry videos every Tuesdays and then on Sundays I have special videos which is which could be anything and everything under the sun. Yes, so see you in my next video and remember to stay fierce and fly high. See ya!